Uh, hello, this is David Birch at Starpath School of Navigation in Seattle with a note on using the Object Search plugin for OpenCPN and in particular applying it to the training chart 1210TR which has a little bit of a twist to it. This is actually harder than the normal applications where it's just like a one-click step to do it. But here, there's a twist to it. But anyway, here, 1210TR is an outdated chart. It looks like this. It's used a lot in the U.S., especially on the East Coast for training, although it's a very old chart and not a particularly good training chart. But anyway, it's used. And therefore, we, we ourselves then have a workbook for it because a lot of schools like to use it or historically have. So we have a workbook for it with problems, the charting problems, tides, currents, one thing or another, chart reading. And then in addition to that, we've made this um, high-resolution RNC e-chart of it. And I'll put a note in the in the dis uh, discovery, not discovery, description, description of this video where you can find that uh, e-chart, uh, that one that we made. That's this one right here, in fact. So you see it's very high resolution this night. And this chart doesn't exist, by the way. That's the, the kind of twist to it, that this 1210TR chart no longer, there's no longer an actual real chart like this. In other training charts around the country, there still is a, there still is a counterpart, but not this one. So here's the magic, um, and we have, and, and this came up because some problems came up that we want to illustrate, and then I want to use this trick to save some time because people may not be familiar with this chart, although clearly you want, uh, if, you're gonna, if you're using a school, if you're going to a school that uses this, then you want to uh, train on the chart so you know where to find things, and in a test you don't have to hunt around for it. But here is, uh, here is the function, and let's just say gay head light, right, go. So there's gay head light, and I find it and say show it on the chart, and there's gay head light. So that's the magic. So the question is, now keep in mind here, I'm looking at an RNC chart, which is just a picture of the printed chart, uh, I mean of the paper chart. So how does this work? And that's what I want to show. So you first of all go and download this, uh, download this plugin and install it. That's very straightforward. Now I have to say, I have this running on a PC and it works fine. My first attempt, and I haven't, I haven't devoted a lot of time to it, but I can't quite get it to work. I can't get this plugin quite yet to work on a Mac, but we'll get that sorted out. But for, it works fine on a PC for now, and it's going to work on a Mac. I'm sure I'm just doing something wrong. But anyway, you go back here. Let's see. Uh, here's the open chart object search plugin. It, you get download that, install it. It's a very it's a very straightforward install. Nothing nothing special about that. And then um, okay, let's. How do we proceed here? Let me go back to the, P, the PC. I'm back on the PC now. Okay, so here's the issue. What the the trick to this is the raster charts don't know anything. They don't know a thing. But the ENC, the vector charts, the e, so-called ENCs, electronic navigation chart, um, those charts know everything, and they have all the names of everything in it. And that's a trick. We have to load at at some point in life. You have to just load those ENC charts once run the plugin, then it will make a database of all the, lo all the chart object information, and then you can come back and find it. So um, let's look at that. Let's go here to the wrench, the wrench, then go to uh, charts, add a directory. I just want to show you the point here, 1210TR, uh, 1210TR. Downloads, charts, R, oh, oh, I see, charts, ENC. Okay, here it is. Now select the folder. Okay, now what I want to show you is to make this work for the 1210TR, and specifically, you're going to have to download three ENCs. So let me apply that and say, okay. Now, zooming out here, we'll see what's going on. Okay, so here's the situation. Actually, it's one, two, three, it's four. So you see here this red line, let me get a little bigger here. 
this red line right here that's I've got the back here in the display I've got the chart outlines turned on so I can see what's going on so here this red line that's the uh, 10 12 10 TR RNC raster chart and this green this is one green one two three four so there's four ENCs that you need and um, and these are the four that I have downloaded and this is one of them you'll see um, uh, well let me come back in the end and do it so once you load those so you load these four ENCs and um, and then once the four are loaded I think you can just search for anything so they're loaded these are the ENCs they're loaded and then let me search for Cuddy Hunk is that a Cuddy Cuddy Hunk Island I think is there yeah Cuddy Hunk Island and then look these are different er there are different places referred to Cuddy Hunk on the chart objects on the chart and uh, so you just go go to one and say show it on chart now once you've done that oh and this is Cuddy Hunk but this is the EN this is the ENC you go to the RNC the RNC you see sure enough that's Cuddy Hunk so that's the way you do it it's really very simple normally you would there's not always a one-to-one -one core well no excuse me there's never let me put it more bluntly there's never a one-to-one -one correspondence between ENC and RNC but you can go and see the overlaps of them uh, and so what you need to do is if you have a given region you want to make like I did there's these four here now those are um, let's see if I go here and then I go to downloads and then charts charts uh, ENC and then I'm going to this guy I just made all right, so those are the four charts that you need to cover the 1210TR. And I, I should also recommend our book here, Electronic Chart Navigation. It's all about ENCs, and that explains how these names work. These are, it's a U.S. chart. It's number four. That's the a, that's a scale, the size of the chart. You know, if it's large scale, small scale, it's a scale range. It's Massachusetts is a state. Uh, and this is actually Rhode Island looks like two of these are Rhode Island and these are the actual chart numbers so those are the four you have to download and the place that you can easily get them is you go here uh, go to starpath.com slash get charts and then you can look and this is all the sources all the various ways to get charts online you go to the interactive chart viewers probably the best bet and then let's just do an example up here well uh, you can if you just pick a chart let's say you want to look at this area right here in this area right here uh, Albemarle Sound like that so there you're looking at the um, here's the uh, paper charts here's the RNC's that you would have in that area and then here's the ENC's and you just have to be sure that you're overlapping all the RNC's with an ENC once you've loaded and run the ENC then you can just simply don't even don't uh, you know go back to your go back to your program and just take them away go to chart if you don't now there's a huge advantage of navigating with ENCs which we cover in our book but you don't even have to show them you could remove uh, let's see you could just remove those then okay apply gone now all you have is the norm what you you know would consider the normal paper chart but it'll all it'll all still search uh, plug in uh, J J U D I T H. There's a bunch of things. Whoops. Um, J U D I T A. Judith. There's a bunch of things named Judith on this chart. Jud Point Judith Pond. Uh, show on the chart. And there you are. Point Judith Pond. It's really slick, wonderful plug in, and you can do it for any place. And um, that's where I'll end now, and I'll fill in some information about um, 
about the references here. I'd look particular to our book on uh, electronic chart navigation that deals with these ENCs. Uh, 